Hello and welcome to today's series of yoga poses. We are segueing in today's class. We're moving, we're honoring the time when we are moving from the menstrual phase, what we call the priestess phase in the Fierce Gentleness Collective, and we're shifting to follicular phase, which we call soldier phase in the Fierce Gentleness Collective, which means that we're going to be up on our feet a little bit more, and we're going to be moving more closely to the traditional format of a yoga class with the three mountains and making sure to hit every part of the body, the front side body, the back side body, and we'll include a little bit more energy and we'll use poses that need a little bit more effort. Let's get started. Beginning on our feet at the top of the mat, let's inhale the arms to either side of the body. Exhale, bring the arms up overhead, letting the hands meet in prayer. Inhale, slight back bend, and then you're gonna exhale, hands through prayer, bringing the body all the way down so that the head meets the legs, and then inhaling to flat back, bringing the hands in front of the feet, making sure to do that safe grip for our hands. Let's walk the body down to tabletop. From here, we're just gonna take a few cat cows. Let's inhale to cow and exhale to cat, making sure that our head follows the entire movement. It's not just happening in our core. Inhaling cow, exhaling cat, keeping in mind that grip even now, it's gonna matter later. So protect your wrists. One more round, inhaling cat, cow, excuse me, and exhaling cat. Let's push our feet back, pushing into the feet. We're gonna push back to plank and then push back on our arms to downward facing dog. Taking some time to just walk your dog a little bit. Notice that grip in the hands. You're still protecting your wrists. We want the eyes of the elbows to face the front of the mat as much as possible. When we do that, it squares our shoulders. We're going to push so that the top of our triangle is our butt and it's pointing straight to the sky. And from here, let's just push into the balls of our feet and rear back to move forward as we walk our feet back up to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back pushes against the shins. Exhale, forward fold. And then let's reverse swan dive. Arms come out into the side, overhead, meeting in prayer. Slight back bend. Exhale, hands come to prayer at the heart and inhale, hands come to either side of the body to begin again. Let's inhale, two arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Inhale, hands come to the shins for flat back. Exhale, this time we're going to walk right to plank. We're gonna walk our feet back to plank, and we're just gonna feel our way into plank by pushing over our hands and pushing back into downward facing dog like a wave rolling back over our hands into plank again and pushing back into downward facing dog one more time the wave rolls over to the front our energy faces the front of the mat flat back and plank pushing back to downward facing dog. And again, we're just going to push into the balls of the feet and walk our way back to the front of the mat. You're welcome to walk or hop this time. Your body might be warm enough for the hop to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rooting to rise, reverse swan dive arms, hands meet overhead in prayer, slight back bend, hands come through the center, hands meet at prayer. 
Inhale, hands to either side of the body, rooting to rise. We're going to do a slight bend in the legs before we lift our arms up to swan dive. Hands meet overhead in prayer. Bring the prayer down the body as you bend forward into forward bend. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, and this time two hands are going to come in front of your feet and you're going to jump back to chaturanga. And then from chaturanga, you're going to push up and forward to upward facing dog. And from here, push up and over the toes back to downward facing dog. We're going to now raise our right leg, keeping those hips square to the mat, bring that knee through to the front of the mat, lightly placing that right foot between your hands and let's rise up. We are now in warrior one. So we really want to focus on squaring our hips towards the front of the mat. And one way to do that is to literally pull with your right hand against the right hip to create that squareness to the front of the mat. Not the most beautiful pose, but a lot of work's going on in warrior one. We're going to stay square to the front of the mat. And when you're ready, you're going to rotate out and open to warrior two, expanding that stance between the heels of the right foot and the left foot. Reaching forward, you're going to reach out and back to our reverse warrior, reaching, 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 and then let's unfold back to warrior two. And from here, let's inhale and expand our arms and then reach, reach, reach with our left arm for extended angle pose using our right arm to support ourselves or not. Let's rise now, inhale to star pose and exhale to moon goddess pose. Making sure that those knees are bending right over the toes, otherwise your alignment's off. And now let's switch to warrior two on our opposite side. So our left leg is going to bend and we're gonna take that warrior two facing the left side of the mat, the left short side. Inhale, reverse warrior pose, taking advantage of the hook that's created at that left hip bone as you pull back in that, reach back in that reverse warrior pose unfold back to warrior two and just allow your right arm to sweep forward and carry you to rotate inward to warrior one so now you are square to the front of your left side mat in warrior one that right foot creating a knife's edge parallel to the back of the mat from here we're just going to Inhale, reaching back for a slight back bend before we reach our hands to either side of our foot. And we're just gonna immediately bring that left foot all the way back so that our left heel is pointing as high as it can to the sky, keeping those hips square. And we're gonna land in downward facing dog for just a moment. Let's land there, hang out there, rear back to jump forward on two feet exhale forward fold inhale flat back exhale forward fold rooting to rise two arms come up and overhead reverse swan dive slight back bend hands meet in prayer Inhale, hands come to either side of the body. Exhale, root to rise. Hands come up overhead, swan dive. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Hands come right in front of your feet and you're gonna jump back, chaturanga, like we did on the other side. Pushing forward and up into upward facing dog and exhaling back to downward facing dog. From here, our left foot's gonna come to the sky, squaring our hips, and we're going to bring that left knee through, 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 through our two hands, lightly placing the left foot between our two hands, and let's immediately open up to warrior one again. Warrior one is going to, we're facing the short side of the mat. 
the left side of the mat square to the mat let's inhale and exhale shifting rotating to warrior two from here we're going to inhale and expand our arms and then this time instead of going into extended angle we're going to go into a side lunge that same sweep of the right arm is going to bring us down to side lunge and then we'll grab with the adductors pushing both feet onto the ground and then shifting to our right foot side lunge on the right foot and of course what we do on one side we'll do on the other so we'll come back to warrior two on the right side extending that expansion inhale exhale sweep that left arm forward bringing us back to warrior one settling into the pose checking those cues is my right knee over my right foot am i square to the front of the mat and getting ready let's inhale a slight arch back and let's exhale and bring both hands to either side of our right foot immediately we're going to plant on our left foot and on our two hands to again bring that right foot into the sky behind us hips square to the mat going as high as we can and then bringing that right foot down to downward facing dog let's rear back to jump forward and exhale forward fold inhale flat back it's going to change here exhale forward fold moving into chair now create that bend in your legs brush the hands on either side along the yoga mat and then trace that circle in front of you until you are a lightning bolt of a person of a yogi creating that stretch through the hands through the butt making that beautiful diagonal line let's bring two hands to prayer through the center at the heart and let's rotate towards the right to face the right side of the mat only rotating in the upper body for twisted prayer we're going to use that right elbow pushing against the area above our right knee to really get that leverage you're welcome to expand your arms if you feel like it and if you want to take it a little farther we're going to have some fun today so you're going to bring your left arm to catch your right arm through your inner thighs and then from there you're going to raise that left foot so that we get to play a little bit a lot of us we do bird of paradise but what about a parallel bird of paradise you're going to raise that left foot and we're going to kick out in front of us so it's a arvita paradise a crossed a twisted bird of paradise extending that left foot forward pushing through the heel and your gaze may go to the opposite side of the mat not mine not for long <laughs> we're kicking 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 and to keep your balance you're going to bend that supporting leg that right leg as much as you need to when you feel ready to unfold carefully unfold from the pose as gracefully as we get in we want to gracefully make our way out of the pose and from here we're just going to unwrap and unfold into half moon with our supported by our right leg we're going to let our body our heart all of our front side body face the long side of the mat we will get stability if we keep from locking our supporting leg and by putting intensity a little bit of intensity through our extremities through our left hand through our left foot that is kicking karate kicking the back of the mat you're welcome to take any balance that you're comfortable with bending the left leg and grabbing it perhaps leaning into the uh, pose and bringing that left leg higher 
when you're ready, unwrap the pose and we're gonna meet again at the beginning of chair pose to take the other side. Reaching up, 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 up and through to chair pose. You're now gonna bring the hands to your heart. You will notice that you may bend lower just because one side, you're now, your body's a little bit warmer. Take twisted prayer on the left side and let that left forearm push against that right area above the knee so that you can really get that twist in the thoracic spine. If you feel up to it, you're welcome to do what we did on the other side. Catch your right hand at your inner thighs with your left hand and use that to bring up so your your right leg is going to sort of be hooked into this grip you've made with your hands and you're going to take that arvita that twisted bird of paradise in the parallel you're going to kick 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 through the heel of that right foot kick 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 and we'll allow the gaze to come over our right shoulder to the back of the mat so our body is working in two opposite directions at the same time but move, take the gaze there only if you choose it's more important to work at 80 percent effort and to work in stability than it is to make things look like what somebody else is doing and if you are still in seated prayer, find out how you can deepen it. Can you twist a little more deeply? When we inhale, we'll take the action. When we exhale, we can luxuriate in the space we created. Everybody from here, even if you're in prayer, we're gonna unfold to half moon on the left side. So our left leg is taut but not locked and if we at all get unstable we can always bring ourselves closer to the earth by bending that left knee to also create balance we can really focus on sending energy to that right hand pointing towards the sky to that right foot that's karate chopping and noticing our points of contact with the earth and the sky and sending energy to all four points, the feet, the hands. You're welcome to take any variation here. You can grab your right foot if that's what you did on the other side. You can ponche, you can bring that right foot up, 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 up. Wherever you are, allow this pose to end unfolding and meeting again in chair pose. And let's do this final chair pose, come to the full expression of the pose. The deeper you bend, the, and the higher you pull towards the sky, the deeper you'll be able to bend. Bend deeply, pull higher, bend deeply, pull higher. And when you're ready, bend so deeply that you elegantly bring your bum to the ground. Let's all meet in boat pose. Here you can take it a few ways. You can keep your hands on your lower thighs for a more modified boat. You can bring your hands to either side of your legs. You're also welcome to extend the legs to straight and then bring the arms to parallel the legs. It's a wonderful pose, a wonderful expression of boat. And just bending and stretching, taking the legs to straight one more time if you've bent them. If they're still bent right now, then keep them bent. Staying in your comfort zone. Let's inhale the legs to straight if you feel up for it. Bend them back. And now lightly bring the feet to the ground cradling your legs and thanking them for the amount of work that they did today because they did a lot 
And when you feel ready, I'd like you to guide your body down towards the mat as slowly as you can, holding on to your shins to ease your way down and get that roll through the spine. Bring your body to flat on the ground, your back to flat, and let's get ready to do a few bridge a few bridge poses. So we're going to simply push into our feet, raising our core, our pelvis, bringing the hands to meet under our body, under the bridge we're creating with our body that starts at the shoulder tips. Our hands, the palms of our hands are touching to protect our shoulder blades. And we are balancing predominantly on our shoulder tips and that base that we made with our arms. When you feel ready, unlock your grip, bring hands to either side of the body and bring the body down between your arms. Let's take one more, but on this side, I'd like you to alternate the grip. So when you're ready, you're going to push into the feet, bringing the hands together, alternating the grip. I always have to double check my grip. Bringing the body up into bridge, the pelvis rises, the center body rises. Everything walks its way. You might even feel like you wanna walk your feet back just a little bit to your shoulder tips. And to protect your knees, if you find them splaying out to either side of the mat, pigeon toe your feet or do what feels like pigeon toe, especially if you have a natural turnout, pigeon toe your feet to protect your knees because that's really helpful. If you'd like to play a little bit, you're welcome to bring your hands under your seat to support your whole body weight so that you can bring your legs to fly in the sky, your feet point to the sky, your legs point to the sky. And this is why we use such a protective grip when we're working with the front side body and downward facing dog and whatnot, downward facing dog and plank, so that our hands are strong enough to do poses like this. When you're ready, unfold from this pose, bringing your hands away from your seat, bringing your body to land in the center between your arms and your hands. And now let's get ready for wheel. We're only going to take it once, but it's always helpful to give yourself that little caffeine boost of wheel. If it's nighttime for you, don't do wheel. You're going to wake yourself up again. <laughs> um, everybody else, you're going to flip your fingers to face your feet. And then you're going to push into your feet and hands at the same time to push up into wheel. We really want the center of our body to be the highest point in wheel. Almost our belly button, the area right below the belly button is going to be the high point in wheel. When you're ready, you can unfold from wheel. And bring your two legs to the center of your body. Hug them in. And we're going to do just a little bit more back work. Going to do one of my favorites. Da, 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 da. Let's go into plow pose. I'd like you to look at the screen for this first demonstration of plow because it's really dangerous to look at the screen while you're in plow. So never, ever turn your head in plow. You're just going to take your legs back and over your body, and then you're going to support your lower back with your hands. And what's going to make your plow pose easier is just to walk your hands towards your upper back, but always start with supporting your lower back. Eventually, you might bring your legs up. I did this really quickly to show where you might go with the pose. And after this, we're going to do it all together, so you'll get plenty of time to build into bringing your legs straight up and over in plow. So let's do it together. We're just going to kick our feet up and over in plow. And for some of us, we might stop in plow. 
and that's perfectly fine. Plow is where your toes are on the ground. You're pushing into the balls of your feet. If you feel up for it, you're welcome to bend your knees and walk your way, walk your arms lower, so closer to the top of your back to give yourself even more support and eventually make your way so that you are doing shoulder stand. Your whole body wants to be supported by your shoulder tips and by your arms, your forearms, and by your hands pushing like a triangle, that most wondrous of supports, pushing against that upper body. I mean, excuse me, that middle back. If you have your legs in the air and you feel like going for it, you're welcome to try to get to full shoulder stand where your whole body balances on the shoulder tips and the neck. The shoulder tips and the neck. Most of it should be on the shoulder tips. Like about 10% is on the neck. I am not kidding here. Otherwise, you will you'll be you'll you'll hurt yourself. Same thing for uh, headstand, but we'll get there another day. Slowly, slowly, slowly come out of shoulder stand if you are in it. Everybody, let's meet at plow. And when you're ready, gracefully unfold, bringing your legs down, 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 all the way to the ground. And let's now go right into our final twists for the day. You're going to bring your knee towards your left shoulder tip. And you're going to clasp. It doesn't matter which hand you have on top. You're just going to pull, pull, pull on that diagonal where your knee is pointing towards that left shoulder tip. This is your wind removing pose. And when you feel ready, go ahead and fold that right knee over the left side body, keeping the right shoulder tip on the ground. And if you feel comfortable with it, keeping the gaze over the right shoulder tip. Feeling that stretch again in the thoracic spine, very similar to what we did in prayer. Unwrapping from that fold, bring two knees to the chest, give a little hug, and let's do the same thing with the left knee bent. Bringing the left knee to point to that left shoulder tip on the diagonal, you're going to gently fold up and over. Fold it over, over, over. It's moving towards the floor, but the key is to keep that left shoulder tip on the ground. The gaze might also look along that left arm's edge. But if you don't feel like it today, then you don't have to worry about doing it. Neutral gaze, looking at the sky, or gazing over your left arm. Either one works well. And let's unfold, bringing our body back to neutral, bringing our two legs to meet at the heart. Going to give one more hug to thank our body for its work today, and we'll pop up to seated to close our practice. Come to easy pose. Two hands come to the heart or wherever feels good for you. They could also come to the kneecaps. And from here, let's just acknowledge our practice. Bowing to grace. Wishing you joy, ease, space, and grace. Thank you for joining us today.